bravo, bravissimo, and hubba, hubba, hubba. <laughs> May I be so bold as to say, Miss Stevens, that in the entire concert world, there is only one other person who can sing that song as well as you. Really? Who's that? Who? Umbria. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of him. You never heard of him, Briago? Why, he's the country's most colorful baritone. When he sings Shorten and Bread, it comes out pumpernickel. Uh, does Umbriago know anything about concert music? Oh, to be sure. He supplies uh, Fritz Keisler with all his G-strings. <laughs> Not to mention Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> you know, Miss Stevens, he even trained my voice. Listen to the dulcet tunes. Candy, I call my sugar candy. I don't know why I call her candy. She looks more like one meatball. <laughs> James. You've got a beautiful voice. And that was only on one tonsil. <laughs> you should hear me when I throw it at the second. You know, I'm giving a series of open-air concerts, and I'd like you to sing with me. Have you ever sung uh, in the open? My family wouldn't let me sing anywhere else. <laughs> Very strict, you know, the... Well, my first concert is in Hollywood. Would you care to join me in the bowl? Yes, if you take the cornflakes out first. <laughs> Jimmy, you've just been stringing me along. And I don't even think you're interested in the higher things in music. Dear lady, I don't know what to say. I'm nonplussed. And that's the second time today my nun has been plussed. <laughs> now, Miss Stevens, let me tell you a story. Seeking my favorite diversion last night and feeling in the pink, I stepped into my plush upholstered handsome. With my two footmen commanding the poop deck and my Arabian steeds going at a gentle trot, we approached the theater marquee. And what happens? The red carpet is rolled out. My two footmen descend from the poop deck. They open the door and I steps out. Looking up from the gutter, I said... Who told you to remove the running board? <laughs> Picking myself up and ignoring the stairs of the hoi Palu, I makes my entrance gallantly into the diamond horseshoe. Removing my top hat, my nylon gloves, my skunk muffler, and my pet ladder goulashes with the neon buttons. I looks around. Mrs. Van Scowler is whispering to Mrs. Murray Hill. Mrs. Murray Hill is whispering to Mrs. Susquehanna. And what are they saying? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Superman? No, they shouted it. <laughs> you see, a vicious rumor has been circulated. Just because I work in a saloon, they say I'm not fit to mingle in any other circle. That's ridiculous. Nightclubs are just the Mr. Hyde part of me. You have yet to meet the Dr. Jekyll. I'm Durante, the patron of the arts, an opera critic, and a man of parts. Last week I went to the opera. I loved it. All but one scene. She sings, take me in your arms and hold me close. Why, the whole of close to bum would have to be curved like a banana. <laughs> Opera lovers, all rave at Handel's Largo. I heard, I heard better music written by Umbria. Now, what I say may sound absurd, but believe me, it's true. I've seen every opera, and I'll name them for you. Tales of the Vienna Rules, Madame Buttermilk, The Sextet from Leachy Nuts, <laughs> and The Quartet from Rigor Mortis. <laughs> I coach the planners. And tenors in their parts. Cause I'm Durante, the patron of the arts. Now, just the other day, they held a meeting at the Metropolitan in the cellar. They said, Durante, we're in a hole. You've got to help us out. <laughs> Miss 
stepping up on a soapbox left over from Rigoletto. I said, gentlemen, let's analyze this. Now take Romeo and Juliet. Romeo has to leave Juliet. But does he say, shoo-shoo, baby? No. In opera, he says, I have but a moment to spend with you. A moment, my dear, to spend with you. A moment, my spend, a moment to spend. A moment, 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 a moment. He's got one moment to spend, and he's taken three hours to tell her about it. Why, that bum is making a federal case out of it. Then she says, I will give you a kiss, my love, a burning kiss upon the lips, a burning kiss, a kiss, a kiss upon the lips, a burning kiss, a kiss, a kiss, a kiss, a kiss upon the lips, a burning kiss. By the time he's ready to kiss her, the fire is out. So I said, gentlemen, to save the opera, get yourself new lyrics that have style and renown. Like pistols packing mama, lay that pistol down. They all gave thanks from the bottom of their hearts. To Durante, the patron of the arts. A commissura, Durante, the patron of the arts. And now, a final song from Janet Blair. Janet, how about it? All right, Jesus. hour has gone by like lightning, and another command performance is in the book. Well, until the next time, this is Janet Blair speaking for all of us and saying so long. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.